stop understanding. What's up YouTube? This is Dark Styles Video here, coming at you with a brand new video all about handhelds. Today, handhelds of choice will be the Nintendo 3DS XL and the PlayStation Vita. Now, the specs I will be talking about between the two of these will mainly be pricing, size, and the different functionalities they have and how they play online. Now, the reason why I'm only choosing those specs to talk about is because even though they have so many other high-tech specs like GPUs, CPUs, graphics chips, sound cards that's inside, all of that good stuff, what gamers real well a lot of gamers or most gamers really want to know is just how they play. How they are and how much they are and the differences between the two of them and which ones they should buy. I'm not gonna tell you which ones you should buy, I'm gonna leave that choice up to you. But honestly, I recommend both of these to anybody, because they're both great handouts. So at first, let's talk about price. Now when it comes to the Nintendo 3DS XL, I actually got the Zelda The Link Between Worlds Collector's Edition. Or actually it's a limited edition of it. Which came not only with a black and gold 3DS XL with the Triforce label on the front and on the back. They have a really nice finish. But it also came with a full game download of Zelda Link Between Worlds. The game's actually in my latest video that I made, so you can go ahead and check back on there so you can see what I thought about it. And this bundle, all together, only around $210. Really, $210 for both of these. Alone, if you buy them separately, just a normal 3DS XL, and then the full game of Link Between Worlds, that'll get you around $260. $260, $250, just about, because this game, brand new, $40, this, a normal one, brand new, $200, you're saving a good $20, $30 on this deal. Now with the Vita, even though mine looks like a normal PlayStation Vita, this is actually a limited edition one, because this is the one that was bundled with Walking Dead Season 1, the Telltale Games version. And that bundle not only came with Season 1 of that game, but it also came with a the 400 Days DLC, which is great by the way. That bundle with this 3G Wi-Fi version of Avita came out to $200, well actually $210 as well. And that is a great buy, I will tell you that right now. And both of these bundles you can still find at GameStop or even some other retailers as well. As of me making this video, I still found many places that still sell these bundles. But it's going to be hard to find them because they are selling very, very fast. Now, I think I will start talking about the 3DS XL. Now, I'm going to start with size. This obviously does have some size, and it definitely has some weight behind it. I will say that right now. It, it has some weight on it. Now, the size of this bad boy is actually 134 millimeters wide and 74 millimeters length, which is up and down right here, not topping up. And from its vertical thickness, when it is folded, is 21 millimeters. Significantly bigger than the normal 3DS. And even here on this box, it says that the screen itself is 90% larger, which is great. A lot of gamers loved it when Nintendo made these things. Now, the screen. is even bigger as well. This top screen even is an LCD as well as the bottom. And both of the screens show 16.77 million 
viewable colors on their LCD screens. Now, the bottom screen here is a touch screen. As you can see, when I move it with my finger, as well. Now, it doesn't react as well with my finger, but that's because I'm not using a stylus. Now, I'm just going to use the D-pad. See that there is one of my games, Project Crossover. Now with the stylus, the, the touch screen reacts way better and near perfect. Now we go to the size of the PlayStation Vita. Now with the PlayStation Vita, its dimensions are approximately 182 millimeters wide. 18.6 millimeters in height and it has a thickness or depth of 83.5 millimeters so it is definitely it is definitely much thicker but there is a reason behind that thickness which I will cover right now the screen itself has 16 million colors viewable and instead of it being an LCD screen this is an LED screen. A little bit better than just your average LCD screen. And not only is it a nice screen, but it is also a touch screen as well. On the front and on the back. That's something that the DS XL does not have. Now, the touch screen is a little more sensitive than the touch screen here. But it's not too sensitive. It's sensitive just enough to where finger touches like this, it reacts to it way better. Slide that off and go straight into my home dashboard. Pretty nice. And that little back screen dashboard right there, little screen behind it, actually done by me. If you guys want one, ask and I'll make one up for you. Now, we're going to talk about the rear touchpad. Just as functional as the front touchpad and just as sensitive but in the right ways. And there are many games that utilize both touch screens at the same time and it works out beautifully. So when it comes to the whole who has the better touch screen, I'm going to have to side with PlayStation on this one, but that's just me. Their touch screen is a little more sensitive but sensitive in good ways that actually makes it a lot more fun and more fresh with certain games as well. Now that we're done talking about that, we're going to talk about something that one of these systems does not have, and that is motion sensors. Now the 3DS XL does not have the same type of motion sensor capabilities as this beauty right here. Now many of you may know that the PlayStation 3 controller does have 6 axis inside. Now, with the PlayStation Vita, it also has a great 6 axis motion sensor system inside of it. So games like Gravity, for example, will be able to move this, comp this little handheld all around and use its 6 axis abilities to actually move the world around very accurately and it makes the whole experience very fun. This also does have motion sensor inside of it, but it's not as technological as the 6-axis. It's still good, but again, the 6-axis motion detector, it, it still outbeats it in a way. Now, we're coming down to online play. Both of these have free online. Both of these have online stores you can connect to on the systems themselves. And both of these, you're able to buy games and have them downloaded straight into the system itself. And both, I mean, both of them have a lot of the same things when it comes to online play. Web browsers, YouTube apps, um, it's a lot of the same things. Now, I have to say, with online gaming, sometimes when I'm playing Pokemon Y, it's hard to really get a nice connection to play with someone, but still, it's great. I can still connect and have player battles with people. 
the one thing that I will say online wise I do not like is with the 3DS XL when you add people to your friends list you can't send them messages easily at all on that friends list feature it has but on the PlayStation Vita you can send messages just as easily as you could on the PlayStation 3. All you have to do is go to your friends list and you can record a message and send them a message just as easy as that. Now we're going to talk about battery life. <laughs> and there are some differences with battery life. Now with the 3DS XL, actually you can see the battery in there is at red. So that means I need to charge it. The battery life in this one, if you're using the 3D feature, actually I have my 3D feature turned off. If you're using a 3D feature all the time and not using the power saving options in the settings, your battery will last around 3 hours. But if you use the power saving settings and have your 3D turned off while you're gaming, your system will last around 6.5 to 7 hours without needing a charge. Now we come down to the PlayStation Vita. Now the battery life the PlayStation Vita is a little bit different. It's around the same, really. You can still play the game for actually a little bit longer than uh, than three hours. I've been able to play the game for a good four or five hours straight and not need a charge. So it it's a little bit different with the the whole battery charging and the battery life. But I would say if you're not playing this this right here in 3D, this will last longer than this, possibly. Now, either way, both of these systems can last a good six hours without really needing a charge. So that right there is great. The games that both of these have, they do range. People love saying that Nintendo only caters towards kids, which a lot a lot of times before he yeah, had that was true But still there's even adults that play some of those games like right here Pokemon Y Lots of adults play that game, but as you see from some of the other games I have like Project Cross Zone Fire Emblem Awakening And Shin Megami Tensei 4 There are games that do range from ages that normally play them Like this game for example even has an M rating that right there tells you that Nintendo does have games for everybody of all ages. Now with the PlayStation Vita, it's the same. Like right here, Persona 4 Golden, M rating. And right here, East and Mrs. Celsetta, T rating. The games range a lot. Sports games on both of them, they have kid games on both, they have hardcore games and mature games and a lot of RPGs. Now, if you want a system, or a handheld system, that has a lot of RPGs, this right here is your best bet. This does have some great RPGs, like Persona 4, one of the best RPGs I have ever played. But when it comes to the number of RPGs, the 3DS XL kind of beats it in the number of RPGs that comes out all the time for that system. Now, I'm not saying that there won't any more RPGs for this console, I know there are because there's a lot more coming out. So guys, that is my quick uh, comparison for the two of these great, great handhelds. Now if you were to ask me which one do I think is best, I honestly can't say. I would like both of them equally, I play both of them all the time. So I'm going to leave that little debate up to you guys in the comment section. So guys, this is Dark Styles video here. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share, favorite. You know, help me get this channel known to a lot more people. And uh, hope you guys have a great day.